on issue while gamers we get a lot of questions here about the bethesda game launcher so i thought i'd compile a video together that puts all of the frequently asked questions in one place so that you can get the answers you need if you get the answers you need and you haven't already do subscribe like leave a comment and uh yeah let me know your questions and i'll see if i can help you out and hopefully uh, youtube will help us out algorithm wise because it's pretty random let's see if uh, people find this video let's do it So what is the Bethesda Game Launcher? The official answer, it's a game launcher for Windows 7 and up, sorry Linux lovers, that allows you access to your Bethesda game keys as well as granting you the ability to redeem said games to add to your burgeoning backlog. The cynical answer, it was a way for Bethesda to be able to get more dollar in the game key market without having to give a cut to Steam on each sale. So is the Bethesda launcher safe, good, amazing, will it destroy my PC, is it Facebook reincarnated, etc, etc. But well, it's as safe as any of the others I currently have installed on my PC, such as, you know, the EA one or uh, Steam or whatever else. And it's a means to an end if you choose to get a legit cheapest market game key for some Bethesda games. It's very bare bones, basic, and neither bad nor amazing. How do I redeem Bethesda game codes? Okay, so get your key from either Bethesda store or legit key sites like Green Man Gaming or Instant Gaming. Once you have your key, copy the code and you can either go to the website the burger icon top left go to redeem code type paste in your code or in the app itself burger icon top left again redeem code and type or paste in your code redeem and you're good to go hmm i wonder what would happen if someone typed in this code and redeemed it how do i add games i already own to professor's launcher's sidebar game list view now be talking about this here. So when you first install it, it will look similar to this. You'll have some games that you either don't probably own, and maybe one or two that you do. But simply what you do is you open up the uh, double arrow marker here. And you can either go for all, or you can go for my library, which will be specifically things that you own. So in this case, we're gonna add Arx Fatalis by Arcane. And notice that it's not on this bar here. So I'll select it. You can set to favorites as well like that. You can see it comes up top in your list. And obviously you can install it, which we'll do. And through the power of technology, we'll speed up the process. That should do. Install. And done. All notification there. It's installed. We could play it now. Obviously I have all our options and stuff. Yeah. And you can also change the order by uh, just dragging like so. If there's games that you don't have or you don't know why they're there or you don't like or whatever it is I don't own this one on the Bethesda launcher so I can just do this and it's gone there you go I see you had games to library you own and it's also showed you how to install them as well which should be elementary I guess do Bethesda game launcher DLCs transfer from one platform to another if it's attached to your account your Bethesda account itself then yes it carries over pretty much in all cases if it's related to DLC or so forth that you buy separately, say in Steam, and then you try and transfer over to Bethesda or some other platform, then likely no. An example we're gonna use here is Rage 2. I originally only got Rage 2 through the Bethesda key, because saving money. And um, they have a thing called Rage Coins. If you buy from here, basically, then it works within this version as well, which is where I ended up finishing the game. So um, I, I've installed a game that I've finished already just to show you guys and demonstrate this because that's how much I, uh, much love and respect I have for you all. So uh, let me show you. Okay, so in the Bethesda version here now, you'll see that if we go to store, hopefully nothing um, dodgy comes up, uh, you'll see that I've got ticks to DLC that I purchased originally in the Bethesda store version, which uses these R coins, Rage coins. Um, so that basically the story DLC stuff is purchased. Now, if I exit and then run the Game Pass version, you should see the same thing in the store when we get there. You can see there's coins down here as well. So if you buy these coins and do your purchases and stuff, then it's gonna still be a thing. Okay, and now we're in the Game Pass version. Settings, not settings, I'm talking about store. Communicates with your account and you can see we've still got the ticks. The DLC is carrying over in this case. Now I would like to see if it's the same deal. I think it's the same deal with things like 
Elder Scrolls Online and so forth because they do the things based on the account. Those games don't seem to show achievements based on, like say Steam or what have you, they tend to be internal. And so those kind of things like, same with Fallout 76 with the coins system, and not coins, atoms, I think that you'll find it's the same deal um, with that. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Okay, that's all the ones I could think of. If you have any questions, again, drop a like, subscribe, touch my bells, and drop it in the comments. As for the launcher itself, as I said pretty much already, it's beer bones, inoffensive, but also uninspiring, and maybe even cynical if you want to go that far. It's only necessary if you're buying certain Bethesda games from your friendly neighborhood key sites. Also, under Microsoft's ownership, I imagine a majority of games will follow the Windows Store, Game Pass, or Steam ecosystem, and this launcher will likely just fade away over time. However, if it doesn't, at least I'll enjoy some much needed YouTube love watch time. We're halfway to monetization and unlimited richness. So guys, if you haven't already do those things, let's get there together. Let's help each other grow. Domo arigatou gozaimasu.